Hey guys, we are back. This time we have a scotch review. Now, I do not drink a lot of scotch during the summer, but I was at Total Wine & More. I check out stuff. I was picking up probably some other tequilas. I think I bought Cascanes or something. And I said, hmm, I would like to try an inexpensive blended scotch. Who knows? And when I went across the uh, shelves, I, I ran across this, Carlisle. I liked the label. I generally liked the way it looked. And that matters to me. But when I took a look at it, I was like, looks like it's good. I mean, you know, let's uh, read on the bottle. And if I don't have a reading glasses with me, I do now. And Carlisle blended scotch whiskey, rich and warm, fine and mellow. Masters Blenders Selection. For over a century, the Glasgow-based creator of Carlisle has produced whiskeys of great distinction, masterfully blended with respect, the finest Speyside and Highland malts, and aged grain whiskeys. The Carlisle is a balanced, smooth, and curiously long-lasting spirit. It says it's a blend of 20 different whiskeys, and it's aged in ex-bourbon barrels. Now, I didn't know what to expect. Was I going to get rot gut? You know, was it going to be something that I wasn't particularly happy with? Uh, I was very happy with this and I started drinking it regularly. Um, I was pretty blown away and getting to the review for today, I went to go look up the website, couldn't find anything. I think this might be something along the lines of one of those total wine and more direct things or whatever, but uh, it was inexpensive. It might've been 20, $25 for a 750. Smells nice and tasty. Let's uh, pour some of this. I'm going to give myself just enough to get a good taste. I won't be drinking a, a lot of it today. But uh, plastic cap, you know, it's a blend. I, I wasn't interested in a single malt. I wasn't going Laphroaig. Again, I tend to drink um, scotch more in the wintertime uh, here in Austin. But I just wanted to try something. And... This uh, looked nice, and I had the money, and I thought I would splurge. Um, apricots, more like uh, candied or dried apricots. I keep wanting to use the word that's got a light heather. I don't know what that means. It's just this sort of fragrance. There's a light. Um, it's not like Johnny Walker, uh, but light, light, like leather. Um, I'm not being overwhelmed like I would with a Freud. It's not like peaty and just like, just, oh, just so big and robust and nuanced you know i wanted a scotch that was not as challenging there was a reason i went for something that was a blend it was also just less expensive okay i can have some scotch nice now what when i went to look up the website again there was no website i don't think i don't know if this is made at a particular distillery and then shipped out or you know but there was no like specific information like it was its own distinct, you know, single malt from a specific location. Let's see the back says. Balanced and smooth, finest quality. Practice, live long and stay well. Uh, no additional uh, information that I can find on the bottle. Carlisle, the Noble Scott. But I generally like the bottle. Uh, it's not pretentious, you know, pretty nice, pretty straightforward. The, the nose on this is pretty nice. I don't feel challenged the way I would with a single malt. Light. Crisp. I don't want to use the word refreshing, but... It's got none of the challenges of a single malt that I'm just like lost in. Uh, I lay whiskeys in particular single malts. Uh, tons of peat and uh, smoky, smoky notes, you know, almost like salt. It's a very easy drinker.
I almost feel like if you watch the whiskey review it did of Irish whiskeys, which was Bushmills and Jameson, if you were going to go towards scotch, and I don't have a ton of blended scotch to recommend, um, I think this is a little bit more woody in its note than like Dewar's. Um, if you're going for a blended scotch, I think this is probably maybe a good place to get started. Uh, I have not tried a ton of blends, so it's hard for me to recommend across the board, but this is good. I'm not like blown away from all its nuances, but is it flavorful? Yes. Is it tasty? Yes. Does it smell nice? Yes. Do I feel like an elitist snob drinking it? No. It's light. Uh, maybe I want to use the word effervescent. Um, it just doesn't have the deep, er, leather, oak, woody, salty, smoky uh, notes that I would with some scotches. But it's light. It's crisp. Um, I could see if this was offered uh, at a bar. This was something that I would order, just like I talked about doers. Um, I think this is solid. If you're looking for a blended scotch uh, to try, uh, why not? What's it gonna? What's what's the harm? And maybe you'll figure out what you like. It doesn't sting. It's not just jamming me with alcohol. It's well balanced. Um, great. Uh, nothing bad to say. Uh, this isn't my, my first choice out of everything I've ever had. Um, I do like single malt scotches, but as a blend, I think this is really solid. You want to try it out? You can check it out. And thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate Carlisle here. And uh, I'll see you again soon on Salute with Robert Gardner.